Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about every time that I've ever gotten scammed, ever. So, like, and anything, you know, video games or um, real life even, because that's happened a few times, believe it or not. Um, yeah, so I might as well start um, with the first occasion, which happened when I was seven years old. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would play in this like, MMO game, and... There's like these dungeon systems, just like every other MMO game, you know. They always have like these dungeons that you get, you team up with people and, and you go after the dungeon, right? That's like the whole thing. You team up, go in there, you can get some good drops, you can get some bad drops, you can get some ultra rare drops. And um, I remember like halfway through it, I got this crazy rare drop and... It was like 0.000001% chance of anyone getting it. And I was like, oh my god, it's so rare. Oh my god, I'm so happy, right? And this guy in the chat was like, hey, you know, I'll uh, I'll buy it off you. But you just have to give me the, the item first. And then I'll send you the coins through the mailbox system. So I was like, well, I mean, he's going to pay me, you know? And this game had an auction house, by the way. I, I didn't even need to do this. I could have just went to the auction house and gotten the same amount of gold. But I, you know, I wanted to give someone that I, I wanted to give it to someone that I am acquainted with, right? Like this guy was the goat. I liked him, right? Okay, wait. I gotta win this duel. This kid's about to win. Fuck you off, lost boy or loot boy, whatever your stupid ass name is. You suck! Okay, anyway. um, And I was like, <laughs> I gave him the item. I mailed it to him. And then he said, get scammed, bozo, or something stupid in chat. And seven-year-old me just broke down crying. <laughs> I just broke out in tears because of how upset I was. This guy just scammed me. I didn't even know what the word scam meant, right? I just, I was like, he's not giving me my gold. He, he's wait a minute it's been 10 minutes we're almost done with the raid he's yet to give me my gold <laughs> i was so lost i didn't know what had just happened i'm like wait a minute he just got it for free and then that's it you know he's just gonna get it for free and i i gg i, I lost right and th like mind you this item like there's people paying real life money like 500 dollars for this shit i fucking lost to that guy that guy sucks damn it Okay, um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I was just broken down in tears, right? My dad was home, and he was like, what's going on? What's, what's happening, Keon? What's going on? And I was like, this guy stole a really rare item. And my dad goes on the keyboard, like the keyboard just warrior, and he goes, you just made my seven-year-old son cry. Give him the item back. And the guy said, LOL. Nice try, or some stupid shit like that. Because, I mean, come on. This guy has no life. Get bitches. Anyway, sorry. Um, I hate losing duels. Um, yeah, and this guy just, like, <laughs> he said, lol. And then we finished the raid. I'm still in tears. I'm like, so are you going to give me the gold? And he said, no, bozo. And then he left. <laughs> um... Yeah, if you if you're out there and you stole that item from me, I, I fucking hate you. You're you're number three on the list, bud. You're going to die third. You just wait. Anyway, um, now this next occasion I remember getting scammed was. Ooh, which one came first? Okay, um, yeah, the second one is in Fortnite Save the World. We'll get onto the real life stuff soon. Uh, I promise. Um. It was on Fortnite Save the World. I got scammed by the same guy, like, at least five times. Because I was so convinced that I could scam him back. <laughs> but he was very, he's very smart, you know? He was like, we're not going to anyone else's island. You're giving me lead, otherwise this trade is not going to happen. That was his thing, you know? He's like, it just isn't going to happen if certain things don't go my way, right? And this guy, was a, he's a smart businessman, you know? I, I respect it. 
But um, I was convinced after the first time I got scammed that I could scam him back because I actually liked this guy, you know? Like, I was talking to him before we even tried to trade. You know, I was like, I like this guy. You know, we've done a few missions. I like this guy. We're going to do a trade. Just friendly. Kick me out. I was like, I felt betrayed to another level. But that's probably why I kept coming back. I, I really, I really did not want this guy to get away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. I just don't, I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. And, dude, what? This guy is lagging. Hello? Maybe I'm lagging. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hello? Earth? Maybe I'm lagging. Anyway. So I was convinced that I could do it. And I was like, if I just give him an item, maybe he'll let me on his island longer. And I might be able to get away with it. But I just have to give him an item first. Otherwise, he's not going to give me an item. You know what I mean? So I was convinced that that's how it worked. But no, every time, every time I, I just... He would kick me out, and it was over. It was that simple. <laughs> he had a very strict thing every time, and I, I came to learn that after the third time. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I have friends that uh, still bring this up, the, the fact that I got scammed by the same guy. But um, that's scam occasion number two. No crying in that one. I was just kind of pissed off after a while, and I started scamming people in that game too. I probably scammed hundreds. Of people and if I if I scammed you I'm sorry it, it was rage I, I had to get my items back um, <laughs> if, if, uh, if I was one of the people that scammed you uh, ask for your items back and I'll give them to you now because <laughs> I feel bad um, yeah but I don't you're finding this video but if you are <laughs> just know I will give your I will give you your items back I promise <laughs> just just be honest about it no one in the chat fucking be like, ah, I got scammed. Like, I don't really know how to trust you, but I probably remember your username. Um, if I did scam you, I, I kind of remember things like that. So, um, yeah. So that was the second occasion. Now the third occasion, I had this two businesses, two businesses in middle school. I had a candy selling business where I mainly sold Sour Patch Kids and then the second business was a lemonade business, which I didn't think anyone would be interested in. But believe it or not, lemonade, I mean, people love lemonade. And I was good at making it. And I made a huge profit margin on it. I think it was about $5 to make uh, 20 bottles or something like that. And I sold each bottle for $2. <laughs> so it was a huge profit margin. And out of convenience, you know, people really wanted that shit, right? And... This one kid, you know, I'm friends with him. Well, used to be friends with him. He, was, he, he sat next to me on the bus, right? So we were going to see each other every day, right? But regardless, he still somehow managed to scam me. And I'm not real sure how he did it because I was smarter at that time because I've already gotten scammed like two times, you know. Well, multiple times by the same guy. And then, you know, the one time when I was seven. So I was smarter. I was a smarter business guy. But we, I was actual friends with this guy. Like, I, I talked to him every day. He was on my bus, so I had to. And I liked him. But this guy wanted, you know, he was real thirsty one day. He wanted that lemonade. And I was like, he's like, just give me the lemonade now. I'll pay you tomorrow, right? I was like, okay. Well, you know, he's my friend. It's not a big deal, right? He's my friend. He's not going to scam me or anything. Um, dude, why can't I hit this guy? Anyway, um... So I was like, hey, why not? So I gave him a bottle. And, you know, he's like, man, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And he was absent the next day. So I was like, okay, well, you know, he was absent, whatever. He'll just give it to me the next time he's back. Then he was absent the next day. And then he came back. And I was like, yo, what's up, man? It's been a while, you know. Uh, where's my money, bitch? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I didn't say it to him like that. I was like, uh, you, have, you have, happen to have that money? He's like, oh, dude, I was gone for a few days. I, I kind of forgot. I was like, okay, that's that's fair. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you bring it. Tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, I'm going to, like, kill you or something. I, I didn't tell him that. But Jesus Christ, this guy doesn't miss. Get a life. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I was like, yeah, no, it's fine, whatever. Could could be way worse. Um, so 
So, you know, I was like, whatever. And then the next day he came in, and he did give me $2. I was like, okay. So he did pay for it. And then he's like, can I have another one, though? Like, I am really thirsty, and I didn't bring more than $2. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, this guy's hacking. Wait, he's, like, actually hacking. How the fuck is he hitting these? What the fuck? I'm out of here. What the hell? Anyways, um... So I was like, okay, you know, he paid me $2 already. I trust him. You know, I didn't really think he was going to do it. And I was fine with losing $2. So it's whatever. So he had one. And I was like, okay, you know, he put me back. And then he asked for another one. So then I gave him to him. And I was like, okay, that's $4. Whatever. That's just two. And then after that, um, he didn't come in with money the next day. And I was like, dude, stop forgetting. And then the next day came in. And he gave me $2 for one of them. And then he asked for another one. And after that one... He was absent again for another two days. And he came back and he was like, yeah, I forgot the money, man. But honestly, I think these lemonades were starting to make me sick because I kept, like, he was always absent afterwards. So I was like, these lemonades might be making him sick. Like, they actually might be. So I kind of believed him. I think he spent a lot of time on that lie. And it might have worked on me because he said he was sick about it. And I was like, okay, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about the money. Just, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I was making insane profit margins, so I didn't really care that much. I was like, eh, whatever, you know, it's fine. But looking back on it, bro, you scammed me, bro. You scammed the shit out of me. I, I, I what the hell? Anyway, that's the third time I got scammed. And then, um, is that it? I thought I had more story. I think there's still one more time I got scammed. But I don't really remember... I don't really remember. Shit. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. <laughs>